Hi everybody, this is Jason from Smile and Mobile. Today we're going to talk about browser security settings, specifically Google Chrome. And we're going to get into cookies, what they are, and the settings that are that exist right now in Google Chrome. So if you've been reading our blog at smileandmobile.wordpress.com, you probably know we've been having a security series. If you haven't, please check it out. We have one here where we talked about phishing scams, and there's many other great blogs about there. Anytime you visit a website, almost anytime you visit a website, you will receive a cookie from that website. And it is a way for that website to remember you when you come back. The website will also be able to use this information to track your browsing history. So you have all these cookies on your website that help you, but they can also hurt you. How do they help you? Well, they help you because anytime you visit that website again, the website will know it's you. They'll be able to personalize the information to you. You might not even need to type in your username anymore. You just type in one piece of information and it fills up all the other information. All that stuff is saved on the cookie. So it knows when you come back, it's supposed to improve your browser information. But a cookie can also hurt you because a cookie has your information. So if a cookie is sent to you, on a HTTP network that's unsecure, then somebody could intercept the cookie and actually now use that information to log into that website, pretending to be you, and maybe transfer money and you know transfer other things like uh, you know passwords and things like that. So let's configure the cookie settings in our browser. The way we do that is we come here, go down to settings. In settings, we go all the way down to show advanced settings. And when that happens, we will go down, click on content settings. And here we have cookies. Right now, it's set to allow local data to be set. This is recommended because, like I said, you need cookies a lot of times to be able to log on to sites. Right now, you won't be able to log on to the site. They will send you a cookie first and then you'll be able to, use, to log onto the site. So if you have it set to, for example, block sites from setting any data, you might not be able to log on to any site. You can have it set to keep local data only until you quit the browser, so the cookie will be there, and then once you leave, it'll get rid of the cookie. You could uh, come here and block third-party cookies. Remember, third-party cookies is what I talked about. When you visit a site like CNN.com, you'll get a cookie for Fandango, which just happened to be an advertisement on CNN.com. So you can block third-party cookies. This is actually kind of recommended. You don't need that. So that's how you do that. Thanks for listening. My name is Jason on Smile and Mobile. This is just a quick overview. We'll have more information on our blog at smileandmobile.wordpress.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash smileandmobile.